All right, Shadow of the Colossus then, if you guys are so interested in it. The decade-long quest for Shadow of the Colossus' last This is not last a secret. general discussion thread. The thread was called Quest for the Last Big Secret, Mysteries of Shadow of the Colossus. He continued, Fumito Ueda is infamous for his attention to the most minute, intricate detail. Such appears to be the case with most of the Forbidden Lands. Ruins lay toppled in the most likely angle. Coastlines bear signs of erosion. In his 1,000-word first post, Ascadia <laughs> laid out what he called the theory of intersecting points. In the opening of the 2005 PS2 game, a narration describes the origins of the game's world as the resonance of intersecting points. Most assumed that this, like much of the game, was simply metaphorical, but Ascadia thought differently. He identified four locations in the game's world, illustrated as glyphs on tiles in the central temple. He placed those locations on a map, and, like the opening voiceover instructed, found the resonance of intersecting points. <laughs> the thread picks up steam, with more people theorizing about unorthodox elements of the game's geometry, and about five pages later, Ascadia summarizes what they found, what they need to do, and what it could all mean in the context of this last great This is secret. crazy. <laughs> I think we're really close to figuring this out, my friends. Just a bit more. Jesus. <laughs> the thread so quest for the last big secret, Mysteries of Shadow of the Colossus, is 562 pages long, or 5,662 individual posts. I know it seems kind of silly, but has anyone tried doing all the things they've previously tried on their 16th playthrough? Forum user Snoozy wondered this on January 21st, 2008, and the suggestion is both absurd and entirely in line with the hundreds of questions that were rolling into the thread. Snoozy's idea, like many of them, makes a sort of twisted sense. There were, after all, 16 colossi in the game. 16 was clearly an important number in the world of Shadow of the Colossus, <laughs> and the game's last big no secret shot. would obviously be well hidden, so why not? Developers can hide content deeper and deeper within a game, but devoted fans with infinite time between them will almost always find it to really- Well, the problem is now people just find it in the game files. Like in 2007, no one was like cracking the file to just find all the art that was in there and to find out, you know, like they can just find it now. Trail. Although actually you can have this again because once we start going to live service games, like Fortnite, for example, Fortnite could have a live, like a secret that you could only find, like that you couldn't data mine. You can't data mine live service games. Previous to Shadow of the Colossus, Fumito Ueda and his team made Eco, a melancholy game about a boy and a girl escaping from a castle together. Eco was understated, minimalist, cohesive. Eco also had a lightsaber. Did you know Eco has a lightsaber? And it's not just that. To get the lightsaber, you have to take this ball and shoot some freaking hoops, and when you make it, the laser sword gets chucked through the window with all the grace of an empty soda can. So there wasn't quite evidence for last that? secret in Colossus, but there was a lot of evidence adjacent material. There was a mythical interview that Ueda did in which he said there was still more to be found in the game. Or at least that's what people on the forum said. The thread was moving so fast in the early days that sources were just kind of left behind. Secrets had already been found in the game, ones that seemed to point to some deeper mystery. For instance, the secret garden. Now, the existence of the garden wasn't a secret, it features prominently in the game's final cutscene, but with enough stamina, an amount that could really only be achieved by multiple playthroughs of the game, you could climb up the outside of the temple, an agonizingly long climb, and reach this oh, garden. Wow. In the garden, you'll come across the same fruits found in the game's wider world, but That's these fruits really cool. would permanently harm your vitality instead of helping it. Why hide the garden so completely if there was nothing to do there? Why allow us to get so tantalizingly close to leaving the Forbidden Lands? Why the hell did the demo have a headless body? I mean, yeah, uh, you know, most of the time this shit is not a deep secret. <laughs> it's like developers are crunching to finish a game and there's some, like, leftover model or shit. You know, it's not... <laughs> yeah, they, they, it's not really like a planned Easter egg. And some of these were that fairly straightforward. That garden, though, must have been legit. That did more damage. 
With all this wind on their backs, a growing number of players scoured the minutia of Colossus's world. Although Ascadia had named the thread, it took a couple more months for someone, a Foramite named Midsize D, to find a true name <laughs> for themselves. Keep on scouring the land. I have full faith in you, the secret seekers. <laughs> His name's Midsize D. Out, Asca... Don't give him, like, Aragorn's voice, bro. He's not a f hero. <laughs> He's a forum troll named Midsize D. <laughs> he identified four glyphs that corresponded to places in the world. Yeah, we know about this. Sort of. Each one is heavily abstracted and shown from directly above, but his illustrations are convincing. This one could be the two tall spires that Wander walks between when first entering the Forbidden Lands. This one shows the Wall of Columns in the 15th Colossus's arena. When taken together, the glyphs form a perfect cross and the intersection of the cross lies directly over the sunken lake bed in which you fight Solosia, the game's 11th boss. Solosia is unique for a number of reasons. It's by far the smallest colossus you fought. The fight takes place at the bottom of a deep pit, the only one of its kind in the game. To defeat it, you have to use a blazing torch, the only time you use a temporary item like this. Of course, none of this was as enthralling as the massive door in the back of the arena bricked up mm. and endlessly curious. Making a game is hard and expensive. You don't build a giant stone door for no reason, right? Okay, but you also don't build a secret bonus level for some one person who might find it eight years later. <laughs> your, your argument it can also be reversed much better. <laughs> Since 99.999% of players will not spend seven years on a forum trying to find it, spending time and dev resources to build it, <laughs> or do we? You can't just respond or do we to everything with the monk of them. A decade ago, I remember reading a 25,000 word plot and theory analysis on GameFAQs, one that sought to find answers for questions like, why is Wander's horse so big? And does Mono become the queen in Eco? <laughs> Wander's Christ. horse is too big for him. But what if their mismatch is because they've been bonded since birth? There's so much f***ing text, dude. This is so deep. <laughs> Growing and learning together and forming a connection <laughs> far more important than any size discrepancy. But there's no getting around it. The Secret Seekers didn't want interesting headcanon. They wanted substance. They wanted something huge. Well, they wanted a Colossus. It's well Excuse documented me? that Fumitu Ueda originally planned 48 giants to battle in the game before cutting it down to 24 and then 16. Was it that inconceivable that Shadow of the Colossus could contain one more for the most dedicated of players? Yeah. I, Several months in the- th I've never seen this video. I have no idea going in. I'm going to make a hard bet there's not a secret Colossus. That's crazy. That's a ton of work. <laughs> The reason they cut it down is because it's hard to make another big f animated boss. There is no shot they have another. F if there is, I'm blown away. I, there's Theories no were way. Getting wilder. But overall, attitudes remained remarkably positive, like a doomsday <laughs> cult that had their faith redoubled with every faulty prediction. <laughs> the thread looked to any source for legitimacy. <laughs> One user, Chango Martinez, noticed that they had been awarded post of the week on the PlayStation <laughs> forums. Django Martinez with this f Crash Bandicoot crazy ass. That has got to be some kind of hint from Sony. <laughs> Bro! Do you think the f overworked guy running the PlayStation forums handing out posts of the week is like secretly f all the way to the top of game development? In the Bible, in Job 41, a creature called the Leviathan is described. Some translations say whale, although the text clearly calls it a sea serpent. So, whale, leviathan, and serpent are all used interchangeably. This is relevant because defeating a certain number of colossi on a hard time attack unlocks the harpoon of thunder. This is important because when Dorman is describing Hydrus, he also says a ripple of thunder lurks underwater. The harpoon's namesake could very well be a direct reference. Ah, oh, yes, of course. It all, it all makes sense now. Another super Yorda found inspiration in the stories of giants in Cornwall by 19th century English writer Robert Hunt. 
In one such story, the key to a giant's castle was hidden at the end of a narrow path only accessible at low tide. A narrow path? Low tide? Sounds like the sunken lake bed you fight Celosia in. <laughs> There's under- <laughs> Did they think <laughs> old English author Robert Hunt was in on it? <laughs> Y'all, I shouldn't make fun of this. I miss when this was the conspiracy theory. <laughs> I wish people were more into finding Shadow of the Colossus glitches than QAnon. <laughs> It would be better if this was what people spent their time on. If they were trying to find out the f hidden glitches in Fortnite, then... <laughs> I see all these theories, but has anyone actually found anything more than a theory? And almost immediately, Crocodog responds. If you want to believe it, don't come to the Fred. God it's damn. The same thing with the church. If you don't believe in God, don't come. <laughs> no one wants you here if you're just going to say, Proof, proof, I want proof. <laughs> Just leave the ones who want to search for the secret search. Whether or not it exists, it does not matter. They have something to believe in, and that is all they need. If you think the secret seekers are wasting their time, then that is nice for you. Goodbye. All right, f it, I'm on their side now. Let's go, secret seekers! Come on, kings and queens. I hope they find the f secret. On August 28th, sure. 2008, a new user named Picol appeared on the thread with an enigmatic first post, a link to a YouTube video on his own account saying, watch this guys, you'll find it quite interesting. It's a rickroll. <laughs> the YouTube channel has since been terminated, but it's obvious from the forum's reaction that Picol's discoveries were different than the thousands of previous posts. He was standing in impossible locations, clipping through impenetrable oh. walls, throwing himself all over the map. Picol was emulating. The thread had been chipping away for months and months at the most obstinate pieces of the game's geometry, and now Picol, like a god, could walk through solid rock and prove definitively that there was nothing. Sag. We have to <laughs> finally face the music. There is no 17th Colossus. There's nothing beyond the door in Celosia's arena, no way to ride a hawk to the top of the Shrine of Worship. The mythical interview with Ueda never materialized. But does that mean there's no last great secret? Well, here's the thing. Did Picol kill the god of the Secret Seekers cult? Kinda, yeah. But what he offered instead was almost as good, boundless technical information about the world of Shadow of the Colossus. Nomad Colossus, probably most dedicated of anyone, has unearthed an incredible wealth of information on the game. He's found the probable locations of all 24 originally planned colossi. He's investigated demo discs, unearthed unused items. His plotting of the geography is so complete that the PS4 remake of the game even used his videos for reference footage. Ha! And when the game came out, Bluepoint, the team that made it, actually thanked him in the credits. Oh, that's sick. Special thanks. Nomad Colossus. And the 79 steps to enlightenment? Wait, what? Whoa, 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 look, we've gone down this road before. That last search was fun for sure, but let's not go jumping to conclusions Wait, what? about random numbers. We've been burned before. Hold. Okay, f it. what are the 79 steps? Hidden around the Forbidden Lands, newly realized and pristine current gen graphics are tiny gold sparks, fireflies maybe, or elusive coins. Get near enough to one and you'll get a subtle wind chime sound. Get closer and you can collect it. Not marked on the map, not referenced in any game text, but they're there. Finding even one feels like a freak accident. Nomad Colossus and the 79 steps to enlightenment. Ooh. For one final time, scour the Forbidden Lands. Chart every cave, scale every mountain, every toppled tree matters, every twist oh, of the Oh, that coast. one's hard to find. This was it. 13 years later, 560 pages of forum threads, every square foot of this beautiful barren landscape examined. And at the end of it all, 79 steps to enlightenment. To open this never opened door, to descend into this untouched chamber below the oh, shrine of worship. Take a minute to reflect on the fact that this is exactly what the secret seekers wanted. Just a little more, just one final mystery to solve. Here is a community that was so willing to just believe that more than a decade on, a group of developers took their energy and harnessed it into something real. And what is the last great secret? It's a hidden chamber with a throne and a sword. It's not that much. 
but also it's everything. That's super hype. Would have been nice to have a 17th Colossus, but <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> and uh, I would probably feel a little bit pissed if I found all 72 steps to enlightenment on my own. <laughs> and then I just got a sword animation. <laughs> but uh, the fact that they actually went back and made that basically for only the most hardcore is pretty sick. That's actually really, really sick. Uh, all right, boys, I'm going to bed. Come on. Come on.